Hey, guys. Hey. Yeah, how's it... How's it going? Yeah. Well, I'm Ian. And got another Pokemon black and white battle for you. This time with Dr. J. From the Pokemon Center as usual. And uh, switching up from my usual UU squad. Disappointed me because, well, I don't really have anyone to play UU tiers with anyway. So I'm bringing back the Glass Duck from retirement. He's going to lead with his Volcarona, I'm going to lead with my Glass Duck, he's going to go right for the Quiver Dance, and I'm going to Toxic his wings, so hooray. Now I'm going to withdraw, sensing the, physical, the attack, I mean, he could go for another Quiver Dance, but doesn't even matter, because he'll eventually have to go to an attack on Medusclops, and I know Medusclops can take it, and I know he can take two, and now I'm going to Pain Split, so... Ooh, yeah. Ouch. Dusclops with the pain split. Gotta love it. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna go for another fiery dance here, but it's not gonna be enough to take me out, and I can go for the nightshade. Taking out his Volcarona. First thing with the Dusclops, very key. Volcarona is always a huge threat. Now he's gonna go into his Sharpedo, though. Gonna go back into the Glass Duck, because speed boost and Glass Duck? Awesome! Awesome! And he's gonna Hydro Pump, not gonna do diddles. And I'm gonna get the T-Bolt off on his Sharky face. So, hooray! Glass Duck is the fastest duck I know. And he's gonna go for another Hydro Pump, but again, not gonna do very much. And this allows me to... Well, see, I overpredicted here. I thought he might want to switch out just to flip it up on me, but... In the end, not gonna end up being a big deal. He's gonna... Go for another Hydro Bump here, and I'm going to be able to live it and then go for their cover. So really, just made my duck faster. Fastest duck I know right here. Fastest duck in the game right now. Glass duck. Fastest rapper in the game right now. He's going to go into a Ferrothorn, a.k.a. the Morning Star, and I'm going to go in through my Tangrowth because my Tangrowth eats up Ferrothorns like that rock candy. Or spiked bald candy, but I got the hidden power fire. Gonna do quad damage, and he's gonna go for the gyro ball. Not gonna do very much. Go for the sleep powder now, sensing his impending switch. And hooray works for me. Sleep is Sazendora, or his Hydreigon, or whatever you call it. I get to leech seed it now, so it's slumbering. It's leech seeded. I'm thinking I'm gonna switch it up now. In his defense, he got really unlucky this battle. His sleep clock lasts forever, and it allows me to do such such terrible things. Like, for one, I get to switch in the dust clops and go for the pain split. And, uh, yeah. Because dust clops has the leech seed on him, too, he's, like, just loving it. I get a fully recovered dust clops right here. He does go for the dark pulse, though. Should have seen that coming. But it don't matter, because now I can Will-O-Wisp. And after the Leech Seed and the Burn, it's going to take him out. Silly the Clown, you crazy motherfucker. Love you. Love you, buddy. Glad I broke him out of retirement. Because now he's Nightshading, and does he live the Power Whip? Yeah, he does. Then I just go for another Pain Split, because Dusclops, you the tits. And yeah, he's going to Power Whip me right here and kill me. But Dusclops had a great run. And now I get to send in the face palms and just go for the Dragon Pulse to take out his Ferrothorn. So, hoorah! Looking gravy. He goes into his uh, Piccolo Espeon and didn't know what this thing was going to do, so I switched out the Glass Duck. Unfortunately from a Glass Duck, he tricks me. And, I don't know, kind of kind of hoped the, that Magic Bounce would reflect that, but no... He gives me a Toxic Orb, takes my Evo Light, and then... Oh, so sad. That's pretty cool, though. I've, I've actually never seen tricking a uh, Toxic Orb. I don't know, I've used trick on choice choice holders, but never Toxic Orb. That's a pretty cool idea. Um, Yeah, send in my ear here. Go for the Mega Horn. And that's going to be Dunsky 
for the old Espeon, and now he's just down to his Jirachi. Go for the Megahorn, not going to be enough, and oh man. This makes me want to make a Jirachi, because this guy's got Iron Head and Body Slam, and I've seen this before, but never have I fought it personally. It's annoying as the Dickens, but I want one. And I got really lucky here, because uh, he goes for the Body Slam, and it's not going to paralyze me, and my Fire Blast hits, so great game, Dr. J. Rate, comment, like, subscribe if you like this video. It's free popcorn at the Bolarama. Yeah.